Okay, cool. So today we're at the Loudon Workshop over here in Northern Ireland. Uh, we're going to go around, have a look, see what makes these guitars so special. We're going to look at some really nice woods and just, yeah, just see what, what goes into making these amazing guitars. How would you describe the Loudon sound? It has a very distinctive sound and I think uh, maybe the biggest difference is um, that if you were just trying to describe the Loudon sound as having extra volume, yeah. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't actually tell the story. No. Because really it, it's a question of responsiveness. And so what I'm aiming for is when the player picks the guitar up yeah. and starts to finger pick it or strum it or flat pick it, that the guitar will respond super yeah. fast. Yeah. And almost, you know, to the point where most players have to, they learn after a while when they've had the guitar, to back off slightly yeah, yeah. because you, you don't need to sort of really dig in. So we're up in the, uh, the wood library at Loudoun. We're going to check out some, some woods that we're going to use on some of our builds that are already in, in the works currently. Have you got some nice bit of sap wood for me? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. possibly. Well, let's have a little <laughs> look, shall we? So we've got the usuals, you know, the African black wood. Yeah. This has been very hard to get hold of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's a possibility that. there. So that be for that was for uh, an F, is that right? I can get an F out of that yeah. with the sap. Yeah, you'd, yeah. Need a, you'd need. I've, I've, I've marked it here for an S. Yeah. We usually get aim away from it. That's yeah. It's not the worst one. No words needed. <laughs> That's a nice bit of power. Yeah. yeah. So is that a 50 grade set? It is, yeah. 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 The sides as well, we've got the sides of anything. It's rare to see that nowadays, but it's certainly a more for it to get the sides completely. That's lovely. Got to get that one as well, that's, that's stunning. It's a real good silk to it. This is one of my favourites, it's coming at the moment. Yes. That is stunning. Yeah. as well. Great set. Here we are where it begins. We've had a look at the wood store and how we choose the, the woods for every single model. Mm -hmm. They're hand selected just for that guitar. Um, so whenever you order, in this case, um, say some Cocobolo or African Blackwood like the set you've got, they've been picked out from our wood library, brought down to match the soundboard that we want for that guitar. Yeah. Make sure they complement each other. The sides come down as well. And this is the part of production where we want to see your back, your top, your sides, and the neck all progress through the parts department, as we call it. Hopefully at the same time, so that they come out together, ready to be put together into a sound box and a neck assembly. Yeah. So here, you're going to find it starts to look like a guitar. We've cut the sets. These were already book matched. So if you take a look at this, this is a really great example with the Coco Bolo, where you can see that almost symmetrical finish. We've got the A-frame brace going right up into what will be the neck joint. Um, George's unique pattern here as well. And this one, whilst it hasn't been carved, yeah. you see those straight edges on top of each of the braces. We're gonna then use Japanese chisels to shape those. And we're gonna go and have a look at those in a couple of minutes. And that's one of the key things in fact, two of the key things, arguably, that makes a loud and unique. It gives it that sound that George was talking about. Dolphin profile bracing, that's his flavor, yeah. I would say. And the A-frame as well. So this is the start of what we would call the sound boxing department. So here we've got Sophie and Amy at two different stages of this process. The first is always getting the tops and the backs prepared. So we want to make sure that your struts match the profile that George has designed and finessed over the last 50 years. But also that just the finish inside that sound box is as flawless as it can possibly be. Whilst we know most of our customers will actually not see inside for most of it, we always put a lot of value on the detail and the level of care that goes into this element of the process. So now we're in the sides department. This is where things really start to come together. As you see, it starts to look like what we might recognize as an acoustic guitar. Every set of sides is bent by hand. Yeah. 
shaped to fit each of our specific body sizes. So as you know, we've got four sizes, O, F, S, and WL, or the wee Loudon as we call it. So in this case, we've got an F mahogany model coming through. Each of these sides will be separate and will have been bent, first of all, in the bending machines over beside us here. That'll put the basic profile on the side. And then our craftsmen in this department, one of their biggest challenges, depending on the species, is will it bend easily and will it go into the moulds we want? And that's where the hand bending process comes in. So the hand bent process takes quite a lot of time and every species is just going to be a little bit different. Depends on how dense that particular wood is. Is it oily? Is it not? Some of them need a little bit more care and time because you're maybe dealing with the likes of Brazilian rosewood or Cuban mahogany where not only is it incredibly expensive, but these are incredibly old, aged woods. So the amount of care required because is, is immense, just simply because it's not uh, something you just go and pick another one off, off the shelf. So what we're seeing here is we're trying to make these sides fit a mold. It's very, very specific in terms of it cannot have any gaps. We want a consistent shape throughout. And so the best way to get that in our experience is simply by hand bending. And we're using heat, you can see on these irons. None of this stuff is a quick process, is it? Very labour intensive and time. No, and that's the thing, whenever you're buying a handmade guitar, I think a lot of our customers, they want to know that someone has taken that time and the care to make sure not just that the woods were chosen specifically for their instrument, but equally during that build process, that the same level with care was taken. Yeah. And yes, there's quicker ways of doing yeah. it, but that's just not what we're about no. at this end of the market. It always amazes me when you think, well, you've seen the wood as we go around. Yeah. This was at one point a straight oh, piece no, of wood. Yes. So something that I think people have just come to expect from the Loudon guitar is the five-piece neck yeah. and the dovetailed neck joint. This is something that George has never compromised on. We talked a little bit about the Japanese wood tools, woodworking tools as well. The dovetail joint itself has to be a perfect fit. So right now, he's working on shaping the neck, smoothing that, getting it ready to basically how you would want to feel it in your hand, mm -hmm. ready for the player. So now we're in the final stages of production. So this guitar has come in having been fretted. The neck's now been jointed, the finish applied. So the next step is to fit the bridge. And everything in this department is about getting the guitar ready for the player. So we've got our bridge on. In, in this case, it's going to be one of our um, S50 Jazz models. So slightly different design, single saddle, nylon string. But the process is much the same in terms of we're going to remove the lacquer from the soundboard just to be the perfect shape of the bridge. So we get that wood on wood connection when the bridge goes on. Yeah. Again, it just goes into when the you labor. have unlimited yeah. time. Yeah. Um, you don't have to cut any corners, you're there. Not a single one, so we'll take as long as it takes. So, for example, uh, on this top and back, I spent all week getting them to this stage, and that, that was when they were already jointed. So, you know, from hand selecting the strut material um, to make sure that it's all that it's all fairly balanced in its, in its density and its, and its stiffness. Well, it is, it's so important that we can communicate a lot of this stuff to our customers because so much of this amazing detail, like all this stuff that you're talking about here with fine tuning the struts and the bracing, the customers never get to you see. see. Oh, no. You know, like with a fancy electric guitar, you get that lovely like quilted maple top or a plain maple top with a crazy finish. But, you know, the, uh, the heart and soul and the engine of the guitar is, is, is like underneath where you can't see it. So. That's, that's really why I wanted to, to yeah. make a point of it with you. Yeah. you know, it's yeah. the stuff that you don't see yeah. often that makes a guitar sound good. This is um, our Tiger Merkle. This stuff's really rare. We get it. We get, um, I love that scent. Yeah, it's really it's nice, great. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It really stands out. When you look at that, the thing that strikes me about this is it's, it's just so, so amazing that nature is producing such yeah. a pattern, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's really, really special.
Okay, so we had an absolutely fantastic time at the Loudon Workshop in Northern Ireland. The whole trip was just a real pleasure. We decided to take the trip and drive up, basically. I know we must be mad going all the way from uh, Colchester up to, uh, to Northern Ireland, but I really wanted to drive up, go and see the west coast of Scotland, and, um, and it was just a beautiful trip for us as well. And we got the ferry over, and uh, we saw a bit of Belfast and stuff, and we had a great time. And, uh, and obviously uh, the, the folks at Loudon force fed us a couple of nice pints of Guinness, which was a, another great part of the trip. But we just want to say thanks to the guys at Loudon. We had a really fantastic time, uh, really made us feel welcome. We picked out some fantastic woods for some guitars that you're going to see very soon. Plus there's some very cool guitars in the works at the moment that are going to be released fairly soon, which we've already got footage for, which is going to be great. They're absolutely killer so uh, we're looking forward to those and uh, yeah just head on over to the peach guitars website check out the Loudon guitar range and um, yeah just let us know what you think and we'll see you soon cheers bye bye